हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम आई एम आदित्य वर्धन फ्रॉम आदि केमिस्ट्री डॉट कॉम वारंगल टुडे आई हैव चोजन ए हाईली फंडामेंटल टॉपिक दैट माइट इनिशियली सीम सिंपल बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट वेदर यू आर ए बिगिनर और एन एडवांस लर्नर यू विल फाइंड वैल्यू इन दिस डिस्कशन एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आवर टॉपिक टूडे इज ऑल अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एसेंस ऑफ an element let us begin by exploring the fundamental question what is an element exactly in modern terms an element is defined as a substance composed of atoms with the same atomic number it is that simple essentially each element is uniquely characterized by the number of protons in the nucleus of its atoms which we call the atomic number Now let us explore a few examples to make the concept more clear. The hydrogen gas H2 is an element because it contains only hydrogen atoms. In other words, all the atoms in H2 possess the same atomic number which is equal to 1. And another example is dioxygen denoted as O2. It is also an element because all its atoms have the same atomic number that is equal to 8. now consider water represented by h2o is it an element no water is not an element because it consists of two different types of atoms hydrogen and oxygen this combination of different atomic numbers is what classifies it as a compound and not as an element now let us delve deeper into their nature by asking ourselves a question whether an element is a pure substance or a mixture to answer this question we need to consider the isotopic constitution of an element let us take hydrogen gas h2 as an example it constitutes two isotopes protium and deuterium protium denoted as h11 is the most common isotope of hydrogen the superscript in h11 indicates the mass number which is equal to the number of protons and neutrons whereas the subscript denotes the atomic number representing the number of protons whereas deuterium denoted by h12 here the mass number is 2 but the atomic number remains the same at 1 most of the hydrogen gas we encounter consists of the protium isotope making up about 99.9985% of it the remaining portion approximately 0.0145% is deuterium so when we look at hydrogen gas it it is essential to recognize that even though it is composed of two isotopes they are still the same element due to their identical atomic number this raises an interesting question about whether elements can be considered pure substances or mixtures we can conclude that element may be a pure substance or a mixture this represents the contemporary perspective on elements furthermore one should note that it is also possible to separate the isotopes within a given elemental substance through various techniques such as diffusion mass spectrometry etc nevertheless it is crucial to bear in mind that atoms within them must possess the same atomic number it is very important you should keep in mind that the atomic number is what makes an element unique yes different elements have different atomic numbers for example the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 while the atomic number of oxygen is 8 and the atomic number of carbon is 6 and likewise the elements can exist either in the free state or in the combined state for example noble gas elements 
like helium, neon, argon, etc., exist in the free uncombined atomic state. However, most of the elements are in the combined molecular form, for example, H2 molecule, O2 molecule, etc. An element may exist in gaseous state or liquid state or in the solid state depending on the strength of intermolecular forces and conditions like temperature, pressure, etc. Now test your understanding. Which of the following is not an element? Four options are given. The first option is ozone O3. The second one is dinitrogen N2. Third one is diamond represented by C. The fourth one is carbon dioxide CO2. Your time starts now. The correct option is D, carbon dioxide. You know that carbon dioxide is not an element. It is a compound composed of two different elements, carbon and oxygen. Elements are uh, actually the substances made up of only one type of atom, whereas compounds consist of uh, two or more different types of atoms chemically bonded together. In this case, carbon and uh, oxygen are different elements. So carbon dioxide is a compound, not an element. Now state whether the following statement is uh, true or false. The statement is air is an element. Your time starts now. It is a false statement because uh, air is uh, a mixture of different gases like O2, N2, CO2, etc. And also visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry element by using any search engine. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, you can find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. Drop an email at adikimg at gmail.com. I also suggest you to visit brahmakumaris.com to learn Raj Yoga meditation freely and awaken your inner divine powers to lead a happy and successful life. All the best.